Hello and welcome. I am Raghav, and today we are going to learn something very easy and very interesting. Whenever you have to uh, record some user scenario on a web application, you can do the recording, the replay, and you can also do the export with different options within your Chrome browser. And you do not have to use any external library or tools or any other platform. So let us see how it is done. I will go to my Chrome browser, and here you can go to any web application. I'm going to this demo web application called Orange HRM, and here I am on the login page. Here I can use this username and password. I can add the username, password, and click on login. And this is what I will record and replay. So for recording, I will go to the Chrome Dev Tools. You can press F12 on your keyboard, or just do a right click on the web page and go to Inspect, and this will open the Chrome Dev Tools. And here I have to go to the recorder panel. So if you are using the latest uh, version of Chrome, you will have this recorder feature already added in your Chrome and you can go to these three dots. So here, click on these three dots and here go to more tools and here you should see the recorder. So let me show you. If I go to these three dots and say more tools, you can see here we have got this recorder option here. And if you do not find it here, you can again go to these three dots and say run command. And here you can start typing recorder and you will see this option show recorder. And you can select this and this will open the recorder panel here. And here we can start a new recording. I have also added some steps so it is easy for you to follow. And I will also add all these steps in the description of this video. So the first step is open any website and go to the Chrome DevTools, which we have already done. And now uh, we have already opened the recorder panel, which you can go to more tools and recorder or go to run command and show recorder. Now we will start new recording. We will give a name to the recording and start it. So I will click on this start new recording and I will call this as uh, test one. You can give any name and click on this button, start new recording. So click here and you can see it has started recording and it has already recorded the very first step, which is navigation to the application, navigate to the application and then I will click on this username and add the username, go to the password and add the password admin one, two, three and click on login. And it should navigate to the home page. And if your uh, application is slow, you can increase the timeout. I will show you that in a moment and you can also export it and you can replay with uh, different Basis. I will show you that in a moment. So I'm on the home page. I will click on this user icon and click on log out. So it is recording all these steps. And now I will stop the recording. So here we have stopped recording. I'll just end recording. And here, uh, this key down was not required. I'll just remove these steps. So you can see you can add or remove the steps like this. And here you can see everything is fine. So now I will replay. Now for replaying, if you see this replay button and if you see this drop down, you can replay in a slow mode, slow, very slow, extremely slow. And if you go to the, to the replay settings, we can set the network throttling like slow 3G, fast 3G, etc. And here is the timeout. So this is in uh, milliseconds. So 7,000 milliseconds means seven seconds. If you want to increase or decrease it from here, you can do that. Now I will click on replay and let's see the replay of this scenario. So it goes to the application and uh, it there was some issue in finding the username. If you open the step, expand the step, you can see the details here. So it says uh, type error, fail to execute. So let me see that uh, the command is click and you can see these selectors. Now, if you want, you can change or update the selectors. You can click on this selector icon here and then select the element or object on your screen. And you can see it will update the selectors. Now I believe here, this one is not required. So I can remove this. So you can also uh, manually edit the selectors or select from the screen. So let me also update it wherever I have used the username. I'm going to change it here. And I will now check 
I will replay again and check. So this goes to the application and uh, yes, it is now able to find the username and the same issue with password. So let me change the password as well. So wherever I'm using password, I will remove this selector. It is not required and I will replay it. So it enters the username and the password and clicks on the login button. And now it should go to the home page. And you can see uh, there was some issue here. Uh, this button login. Uh, I'll check this later, but for now you can see all these options. So we have seen all the options we can replay by with different paces and we can check the network throttling. Now uh, you can simulate the networks, you can measure the performance, you can add remove steps, you can edit the locators. We have already seen, we can go and edit the locators here. You can expand any step and you can edit the locators or find the locators from the screen. From here, you can uh, remove the steps or add steps before and after. Uh, for example, if I want to add something, let's say I have logged out. And after this, I want to say, I want to add a step after this. And here, I want to wait for this element. That is, let us say the login button. So I will click on this selector and select the login button. And you can see it has added this. I can also add a timeout if I want to change the timeout here. So I can do all these things. I can add assertions as well. And then you can see there is a performance panel. So if I click on the performance panel, it will replay the test and will show us the performance insights. So you can see it is replaying the test. And then once the test is done, whether it is pass or fail, it will open the performance insights. So you can see it is now loading the performance profile. And here, you can see all the details here. You can expand and you can see the application. This is how we have replayed and you can see the network, the stats, the animation, and you can click on any of these events and you can see the details at the bottom. So you can see all these details here. And uh, if you go to the, let me go back to the recording recorder. And if I go to the performance insights panel, Again, it will replay the test. So let me show you. I will go to performance insights panel and you can now here see all the details. You can also run and check all the details here and you can see all the network settings and animations and all the components for performance as well. So let me go back to the recorder panel. So this is how you can check all these things. And now you can also export the steps. So if you want, you can click on this download and you can see export as a JSON file as a puppeteer and you can see all more options here. Now these options will come if you add the plugins or extensions for these platforms like Cypress or WebDriver IO. So you can just go to your extensions or web store the Chrome web store. And then let's say if you're using Cypress, you can find the Cypress Chrome recorder. And similarly, if you are using WebDriver IO or Test Cafe, you will have a lot of Chrome recorders for different options for different platforms. And you can add them to Chrome. And then you will find these options like export as WebDriver IO, Cypress, etc. So let's say if I say export as Cypress, or let me say export as WebDriver IO, it will get exported as a JavaScript and I can save it. And if I now check, it is saved here. I can just open it with any of the tools. Let me just open it with, uh, let us say, I'll open with, you can open with Chrome or I'll just open it with VS code and you can see this is how 
the test will look like. So this is the exact test that you can use in your testing platforms. And you can see all the details, all the extensions here. If you go to recorder extensions, so if you go to recorder extension, you will see the list of all the plugins or recorder extensions available. So you can see Cypress, Web, web page, Nightwatch, testing library, web driver, IO, all these options are available. So this is how you can use this uh, recorder on Chrome and you can do a replay and you can see all these options you can export as well. I hope this was useful. If you have any other question for me for the next episode of Ask Raghav, you can let me know in the comment section. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.